everybody, I am in Costa Rica this week for a Nitro Circus show. Uh, I traveled down yesterday, took all day long, uh, two layovers. It's a long ways down, but the show is tomorrow uh, in the hotel right now overlooking the sweet stadium, sweet view. Boys getting set up down there, nice view. So uh, this will be my first Nitro Circus show in four and a half years since before pandemic. So. Um, I'm a little bit rusty for sure, a little bit older, a little bit heavier, but uh, it's gonna be good. I'm stoked. So, just about to head over there and uh, get the bike all put together and ready to go. So, let's do that. All right. Locker room dialed. Sign some of these puppies. All right, let's go check out the field. See how we're looking. It's huge. Yeah, a little breezy. It's big. Yeah, they're well underway getting things set up. So it's gonna be a full lap around the whole outside, which is pretty cool. There's the hotel. I think my room's like right there. Pretty sweet. So we'll have a riders meeting and then uh, some practice. So I'll get on my bike, won't do a flip, but just ride around. We're at almost 4,000 feet elevation. So bike is a lot less power. So we'll just feel that out. I've got this uh, aftermarket filter, which is more flow. And then we've got some fuel with oxygen in it. So hopefully that helps a little bit, but we'll see. Right after that, we kick this party off. Uh, Zeiss and crew are gonna like intro that. FMX goes. All right, so a little riders meeting. I learned where I'm gonna be jumping, which is over on this side on the standard super kicker. Go have a look. Here's my setup. So those two at the front are moon booters, which they are the tallest, steepest ramps. These are next gen uh, Levi Sherwood ramp, which is basically just a gigantic uh, standard freestyle ramp. And then over there, the super kicker, which you can see is uh, shorter, steeper, taller than a normal FMX ramp, which there's not much of those around. There's one over there. But uh, yeah, mine will be pushed right in the front, short as possible. Only my second airbag lander ever. So a little nerve wracking, but should be all right. making his way up, stair by stair. That is a lot of work. Stoked to see him go. Always fun doing shows together. Todd Mine. Nice. Signature style. Over to the moto side for practice. Mr. Whip It Wednesday himself. 
So this is the next gen ramp. It really sends ya. I wish I got the chance to ride this ramp. It looks fun. Adam Jones. Cassie Boone from Ontario. Ripping it up with the fellas. Nice. All right, night has fallen. Just working through the program, getting timing right. So it goes clockwise the whole way around. 75 feet, big jump, 75 feet, big jump back with the gigantic ramp going underneath the gap. So working on timing so their crossover is right and should be good. And then hopefully I still get a chance to practice over there once it's torn down. And it is 6.53. Yeah, See you, brother. You too. probably gather it's the next day um, it was very behind yesterday so didn't get to practice so here a little bit early gonna practice today get the ramp moved oh, perfect timing <laughs> So we'll get my ramps moved and uh, get some practice in here in about an hour. All right, got my ramp set up, which it used to look big. Now you got these big dogs. It doesn't look like much anymore. So I think that's a little close, but we'll measure it. Probably scoot it back a little bit and lob over it a couple times. See how the bag feels. All right, moving it back a little bit. Ramp's all set, so I'll go over it a couple times, see how it feels. Chad and Ricky got her pulled out, ready to go. Sweet.
practiced up. Feels all right, definitely a little low on power uh, with the elevation and the carpet is slow, but I think the old girl will pull through. So just waiting for showtime. Fans are rolling in now and go get some food, get geared up and then it's time to go. is known for world's first. It's known for going bigger, pushing further than anyone could ever do. But the next stunt is potentially the craziest and most inspirational of anything that Nitro Circus has ever done. Give it up for Bruce Cook. Ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, may I please introduce none other then from Canada, Mr. Bruce Cole! Bruce, buddy, I missed you. It's been five years, and we're meeting back here again in Latin America. What are your thoughts? Yeah, you know, I'm stoked. When I heard uh, that we were coming down here, I knew that I had to be here. Like you said, it's been five years. That's a long time off the bike, but with enough energy here, I, I think we can get something special done. 
Ovación yeah. para este tremendo guerrero. Pero mírenlo, por favor. Tomen mucha atención. Yo les decía hace un tiempo, esto es de caer y levantarse. Él es perseverancia. Él es Bruce Cook. Until Bruce, we thought that you needed your legs to be perfectly straight. That you needed to get off the back of the motorcycle and rip it around to get it upside down. Así es, es muy, pero muy complicado. Él va a agarrar. Andrés, cuéntanos las especificaciones de cómo va amarrado hoy a la moto. Evidentemente, no es nada fácil subirse a una moto como esta y poder tener el control absoluto de un back, de un upside down, como lo va a hacer Cook. Tiene unos controles especiales en su moto que le van a permitir Travis. de la mejor manera sobre las rampas. Until Bruce Cook, we thought that you would never seat belt strap yourself to a 250 pound motorcycle and have no way to bail off. Yes. Ha agarrado con sus arneses con una motocicleta que pesa más de 120 kilos. Este héroe, el héroe del FMX del mundo va a hacerlo frente a sus ojos. Bruce cannot lean back. He cannot straighten his legs. He cannot pull the bike in a faster rotation. He's relying on the power of this 450cc motorcycle and the vibes and energy from Costa Rica. El aplauso es para este héroe. Quiero verlos aplaudir, gritar y aplaudir al héroe del freestyle motocross que va a lograr lo que muchos pensarían que fuera imposible. Everyone else got practice this morning. Bruce Cook has not done a backflip in five years. Así es, en cinco años que no hace backflip. Pero hoy, aquí, en Costa Rica, ¿qué vamos a ver, Travis? What do you say? He heard we were coming to Costa Rica. He said, I'm coming to Costa Rica. Por vida más. Arriba, mi gente, arriba. And I'm doing a backflip. Así es, Bruce Cook con una modificación en su bicicleta. Este chico de perseverancia pura, que no mueve sus piernas, estará haciendo hoy día un gran backflip. Backflip en la rampa allá. Arriba, Costa Rica. So, Travis, please walk us through the differences on the freestyle bikes. What is the difference between your regular freestyle bike and Bruce's? Bruce's bike has more power than any motorcycle because that's what he uses to flip. All right. Oh, up. We're going to give him all the time. Everybody on your feet. Get on your feet. Stand up. Stand arriba, up. Arriba, arriba, arriba. I'm about to win this, someone. Try a backflip only on power. If he doesn't get it perfect on the takeoff, he will land on his face. No. He has no way to pull out. Everybody, make some noise. Uh, Let's see if Bruce Cook is getting ready when he's aiming for that ramp. I want everyone to make some bloody noise. Deportes Paralímpicos oh, hoy día acá en Costa Rica. Lo acaba de lograr. Lo acaba de lograr. No lo puedo creer. Tremendo lo que está ocurriendo. Billy. Está abriendo camino hoy día acá en Costa Rica. Billy, show us. Everyone, one more time, take a look at the replay right now. This is the first paraplegic backflip in Latin America. Costa Rica <laughs> makes a noise for Bruce Cook. It is Bruce Cook. Bruce, brother, we just seen each other on the other side of the stadium less than five minutes ago. And you just said, I haven't done a backflip in five years. We meet each other again here in Costa Rica. Please, after this backflip here in San Jose, 
Walk us through your emotions. That is a huge relief. Um, you know, I, I didn't purposely add that much drama, but it was a close one. But uh, I mean, you guys have been awesome, getting so loud, and we feed off that so much. So thank you guys so much for having us out. Keep up that energy because it's only going to get better from here. El agradecimiento de todo el estadio, el aplauso gigante que tiene que bajar de las tribunas y meterse en el corazón de este rider, amigos. El señor Bruce Cook lo ha logrado una vez más. One more time, let me hear from Bruce Cook. Well, it wasn't my uh, cleanest flip ever. My hand kind of blew off, and uh, since I have no core muscles, I leaned back. Thankfully, the bar was there. Kind of came forward, got the bars, rode away. That's all that matters. So. Heading back out to check out some more of the action. tell I am back home with Spirit, Marge, my Jeep. Um, that was a lot of fun. Good weekend. I was uh, I was definitely nervous. Uh, it had been uh, two and a half years since I did a flip um, and uh, four and a half years since I did a Nitro Circus show. So it was really good to get back, see everybody, get that adrenaline rush again. And I don't know. I don't think it's my last one, but uh, it's definitely... You can definitely feel getting older and and all the things and just thinking about stuff more and being stressed. It, it's more when you're older. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I know it was probably a little bit scattered and all over the place. It's really hard to film and also concentrate and do the show and everything. But hopefully it gave you a little taste and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.